Ahoy there, pirates. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, I wanted to make this video real quick. So, ever since A Pirate's Life was released, the floodgates on questions about Disney and Rare have been opened up. Where will they go next? Who's coming in? When will Jack be back? But more importantly, who is her and what connection does she have to Jack? Now, if you've been trolling around the YouTube comments like I have from other content creators, and I know you have, there's a good chance you know where this video is going. Also, you probably read the thumbnail, so congratulations, social engineering works, and you should go home and probably rethink your life. The discussion about Peter Pan and the characters on Tinkerbell and Captain Hook have been tossed around amongst the Sea of Thieves lore nerds for a while. In fact, you've probably watched a couple videos covering them already. So let's catch up the people that haven't just in case they missed out. And I promise I'll keep it short. Basically, there's a box with a sun on it and it turns things gold and lets them travel wherever they want. Jack stole it from Davy Jones and after a lot of fighting, lost it and then got it back only to sail into it, leaving the gold portal and the Sea of Thieves for now. When the ship was leaving, it started turning to gold, something that mimics the same event that happens in the Disney film Peter Pan. Tinkerbell herself is theorized to be inside this box with the sun on it, the quote unquote treasure, and her pixie dust is what coats the black pearl as it sails into this gold portal. There, you're caught up with the most sound parts of most people's speculations. Now, building on that, I'm here to offer more evidence that Captain Hook is coming to see a thieves and is in fact the captain or the captain, depending on how you say it, captain, captain, it doesn't matter. Ever since The Pirate's Life Tall Tales was released, I had been told that I had been missing something in the Tall Tale Dark Brethren, uh, which is number four. A uh, little bird told me. I won't say who. With that in mind, I decided to go back to the Tall Tale with some more recent discussions about Flameheart Jr., the ancient mask that allows travel between worlds, and a mysterious stranger by a fireplace as a backdrop to a very popular orb stream that happened last weekend, uh, the weekend before Christmas of 2021, for those that are watching this later. While most of the trip to the Tall Tale Dark Brethren, Brethren didn't turn up anything new, I kept pushing forward knowing that what I must be looking for had to deal with a meeting that happens at the end of the Tall Tale, just before you find the gold hoarder. And to my surprise, I spent a long time staring at all of the objects in that room, the chairs, the mask, the table, the map, to the point where I started studying the map to see if there was anything weird that I might be missing. And I was not disappointed. To my surprise, at the very end of the table, the head of the table, there is a chair. And in front of that chair on the map are scorch marks. Now, as someone who grew up with smokers and a former smoker myself, I've got intimate knowledge of what cigarette burns look like in furniture. Something most vapors probably wouldn't understand right now, but that's okay. Uh, also, don't smoke. It's really disgusting. When looking at the markings, I noticed that the burn marks were paired and very close to each other. And this instantly made me think of those cigarette holders that you see in films. But I knew that it had to be of two. And I instantly thought of something that harkened back to a time when I was a child watching cartoons. And I realized that I might have seen that somewhere in a film before. So taking that knowledge, I went to Google and searched Captain Hook smoking. And to no one's surprise, and in all of its glory, there it was. Captain Hook gloomily hovering over a map of Neverland, smoking two cigars in a holder with his right hand. So I took to Disney Plus and promptly scrubbed through the scenes of Peter Pan to watch anything that might clue me into what's going on. And boy... Did I find them? Not only does Smee call Hook Cap'n, but the crew refers to Hook as Cap'n, as well as throwing knives at a badly drawn rendition of Hook with the name Cap'n underneath. This was all to the backdrop uh, song of A Pirate's Life. And the Pirate's Life uh, lyrics are as such, and I thought it was very fitting because it harkens to what's going on in Sea of Thieves right now. So the lyrics of the second verse are the important part, and it's, Oh, a pirate's life is a wonderful life. They never bury your bones. For when it's all over, a jolly sea rover drops in on his friend, Davy Jones. Oh, his very good friend, Davy Jones. Now, if you go back and you go through that tall tale, Wanda asks who... Davy Jones is in service to, and he says, the blackguard that cut out his heart or controls his heart. Now, if this is the case, it proves that Captain Hook is currently the holder of Davy Jones's heart 
if he is in fact the captain. So let's go back to the cigarette burner as well as the table and the markings and the connections to hook. Because I think what's interesting about this is I was as I was going between the film and the table, I started to check for other clues that might tie it to hook even more than just the burn marks. And that is when I noticed something that only one chair had deep scratches on the wood of the left arm. So I walked around to the other chairs and sure enough, they were all the same texture. Nothing was unique to any of them except for the one seated at the head of the table where the captain belongs. This is just one part of it. I also noticed as I was scrubbing through the film that there is a scene where Captain Hook and his crew head out to a old gnarled tree. And this tree is in fact the tree where Peter Pan and his uh, crew of kids, I don't know what you'd call them, are there. And it looks like the tree very similar to the dead tree that is over on Reaper's hideout, the one with the unmarked grave that has the stars constellation of the warrior uh, put out in flowers, which I think are now gone. If you actually go there, this is just something that happens to have evolved as the game has evolved. And the present that Captain Hook leaves for Peter Pan because he promised Tinkerbell that he would not leave a or lay a hand or a hook on Peter Pan. The inscription on the tag for Peter says to Peter with love from Wendy, do not open until six o'clock. The interesting thing about this is not necessarily what the message says, but that Captain Hook knows how to write in cursive, something kids aren't learning these days. Don't ask me. It seems like a pretty easy thing to teach kids. Now, if you go back to the tall tale for the Dark Brethren, there is a section where you can enter in the different symbols, a combination lock to unlock the key to Davy Jones's chest, which normally holds his heart. Inside is a letter from the captain. Now, the contents of the, the letter are pretty similar. Let me know when you got in control of the Sea of Thieves. I'll be on the fastest uh, uh, wave in. The interesting thing is, is that the captain writes in cursive. And as far as I know, this is the main instance of the captain writing anything. And it coincides with Captain Hook's cursive writing in the message to Peter Pan. There you have it, folks. I hope this helps prove without a shadow of a doubt that Captain James Hook, who has ties both to Disney, Pirates of the Caribbean, as well as being based off an actual pirate, is in fact the fated captain and wishes to control the Sea of Thieves, a land where pirates live on forever and never age.